Kashmir at one time happened to be a water body. So almost every area, every part of it was covered by the water. Then later on, because of the drainage, uh, the gorge which was created from the Baramula side, the water got drained from that side and many of the areas came up. The Dal Lake is very important lake for many reasons. You know, the tourists that visit Srinagar. One of the places that is on their you know, itinerary is the Dal Lake. It has a tremendous socio-economic importance because the livelihood of the people is dependent on this. It is a source of recreation, it is a tourist attraction. It has a tremendous uh, importance for you know, meeting the domestic demands of water in the Srinagar city. was during the Dogra period and because of the state policies that outsiders cannot have land, they cannot construct here. So the only choice left to them was to go for these uh, houseboats because they were a sort of a luxury kind of accommodation that they were getting. In 1950, the Maharaj had allowed us to go for houseboats because the British उनको महाराजा ने यहां कोई कंस्ट्रक्शन मकान वगैरह बनाने की इजाजत नहीं दे दी तो फिर उन्होंने यह डोंगा बनाया आजकल के जो हाउस बोट है यह कंपीट करते हैं किसी फाइव स्टार होटल के साथ यहां कश्मीर में मार्च अप्रैल में कश्मीर जन्नत से भी ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है अप्रैल वो से इज द ब्राइड ऑफ कश्मीर And then the tourists load into the uh, lake. So people live in those houseboats almost uh, entire year now. So similarly, if you look at people living in the lake, so it has increased from 10,000 to almost 70,000 now. So one of the livelihood uh, of these people living within the lake so is the agriculture. So they have expanded, the, the floating gardens have expanded right from the Mughal period, right from the, uh, I mean, down from Sultana till we come to the Dogra period. There, there, there are clear references in the literature which actually talk about this process of encouragement. Now, how this encouragement actually took place? One of the most important factors there was the floating gardens. They were initially only used for this vegetable because there was huge demand from the city because Kashmir had also a long history of the famines. For initial eight years, the floating gardens were not taxed. So naturally, such kind of a relaxation by the state have given more encourage to the people to go for further and further encouragement. This is the water from the top of the gas, from the water, which we call Kashmir, in the water. We say that the water is a little bit of water, which we put on the top of the gas, then it becomes a floating garden. When we come to the heat, भिंडी आती है, कीरा आती है, खरबूजा आती है, तरबूजा आती है, मिर्ची आती है, शिमला मिर्ची आती है, ठंडी में आती है नादरू, शलगम, मूली, गोभी, बंद गोभी, प्याज Basically, the people living in the Dal Lake, these 70,000 people have to be made part of the solution of the conservation. That thinking that they are part of the problem and need to be rooted out from the system has not worked. So you will have to build their technical capacity, the educational awareness. You have to give them sustainable livelihoods, the housing which is in sync with the environmental conservation and lake conservation. We are on the side. We are on the foreshore side. You can see a much clean, at least. But if you go inside, you see the condition is worse.
my understanding, the major, I think, gap in all these conservation plans have been that there is no synergy. One you know, plan that is under active consideration of the government is to move the, these houseboats from where they are today to a you know, specific spot, concentrate them there so that some of these problems, the sewage problems, the wastewater problems, the solid waste problems, could be centralized. One needs to understand every dimension of the problem of this lake. Once you understand all the influences, the influences from the houseboats, the influences from the people living within the lake, the influence from the agriculture activity on you know, use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides in the lake, the untreated sewerage from the city that drains into the lake, whatever happens in that catchment, whether it is deforestation, the agriculture activity, the horticulture activity, or the other human activity that happens in that, so has an impact on the Dal Lake. We may not be able to stop, but minimize the degradation of this lake. I think we need to have a very holistic. Uh, conservation and management plan.